Okay, Tia, you're on in five. I would like to begin by thanking you for coming here today. I would like to thank you, but that's not what I'm going to do. None of you need my thanks. Every one of you is here today because there's something in your life that you feel is resting away your self-control, keeping you awake at night, fearful that tomorrow it'll still be there still nipping at your heels, never giving you a moment's rest. Well, my friends, today is the day that you're declaring that you've had enough. Today you're saying to the world that you are strong enough to become the person you've always wanted. No, deserved to be. So instead of my thanks, I'd like to offer you my congratulations congratulating you on taking the first step in becoming the new you, to become the stronger you, to become the true you. Five years ago, I hit rock bottom. I had been married a little over a year to my husband, Jeremy, and we were expecting our first child. We had just started our professional careers. Then one day, I saw blood. I was rushed to the hospital, but they couldn't do anything. I lost her. I lost my baby. In a blink of an eye, my perfect future was dashed against the rocks. I could feel the waves pulling me under, and I was numb. I started with Xanax, and when that didn't work, Vicodin and Percocet mixed with alcohol. If I couldn't feel anything, then at least I could knock myself out. And then one night, I found myself at three in the morning, desperately seeking my next fix with my bandmate, Carrie. I'm not telling you all of this because I want you to feel sad or pity. Far from it. My goal here today is to show you that no matter the circumstances, whatever demons have got a hold of you, there is still hope. Nothing, absolutely nothing that exists in this world is insurmountable.
I'd like to begin by thanking everyone for coming here today. I would like to thank you, but that's not what I'm going to do. None of you need my thanks. Everyone, every one of I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. Dig me out, back together. You know I'm too busy. Yeah. Well, Alice and Jane have said that they could still play. So we just have to find a new basis. I can't see my blessing, but why now? You remember what it was like up there? Those guys are going with you. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. Well, what about Eric? Eric? He stopped looking at me that way about three seconds after I told him I was pregnant. The first time. <laughs> so you're doing for the last? Yeah. Well, not all of us were able to keep the spotlight on us throughout adulthood. Big shot like you wouldn't know anything about that. Big shot, I'm sure. The real glamorous life. Empty hotel rooms, posing with strange men, saying the photos are for the wet, but they're put their hands a little too low in the waist for that. Every day is a gift. So I have this interview Tuesday morning on some talk show, Christopher Stalls. I'll be talking to thousands of people to satisfy middle agers seeking solace in my bullshit. And it really is bullshit. The one even calls me out on it. I'm surprised. You know, I'll pay to tell the truth. You're afraid to give hope to people. Even if it's all stories you plagiarize. <laughs> At least you're affecting people. I guess that I'm bearing the a little bit, so to speak. What's that? Cherry left. Left how? Off to the sunset at a suggestion of his new lawyer best friend. To the guests and he's staying at his parents. Is it gonna stick? Maybe. This tour really pushed it. to the interview. Do you even have a choice? Not really. It's not going to fix things with him. Neither is not doing it. You shouldn't lose your career in the process. I guess that sells it. I'm going to go use the restroom. Oh, 
How you guys doing? Uh, you have tuned into the Christopher Stahl Show, which is uh, gluten-free. So, um, uh, today on the show, we have a motivational speaker. Yes. You gotta calm down, honey. You're going to sweat right through the powder. You know, Christopher's a big fan of yours. I've been talking about how excited he is for this interview. Which is to say, you're going to do just fine. Just get out there, act naturally, and stop sweating already, all right? And we're live. Five. Four, three. Welcome back, folks. With me today is one of the big rising stars in the self-help industry, uh, author of um, 12 Steps of Freedom, How to Make the Game Your Own, and her latest book, The True You, Tia Lewis. <laughs> How are you doing, Tia? It's a pleasure being here, Christopher. So um, I've uh, had a chance to read a couple of chapters, and uh, I must say, it gets pretty harrowing. Well, it does go into great detail about my miscarriage and my struggle with addiction. So yeah, I would have recommend it to your younger viewers. <laughs> Speaking of addictions, let's talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? Earlier this week, um, a video showed up of you uh, stumbling through the streets of Portland, clearly intoxicated, with a friend of yours. What? Can we, uh, can we uh, roll that clip? certain the person in the video is not you. Yes, that absolutely couldn't possibly, it, it, could, it could have been me. How long have you been sober to you? You know who I am. I'm bigger than, no, no, oh no. Okay, uh, how about the news that your husband's filed for divorce? This is horseshit. I help people, and this is why I get public castration. Are you trying to destroy my career? Look, um, nobody's trying to destroy anything. I'm just trying to get the truth. You want the truth? You can suck my cock. Every last one of you. You guys should be ashamed of yourself. I help people. I dip my toe in the water. So what? What concerns you if me and my friend knock off? I'm struggling to maintain my fucking composure. And now I get blinded up by this gotcha journalism bullshit. You all make me sick. Absolutely sick. Whatever happens between me and my husband is between us. And it's none of your guys' concern. You can rock in hell. I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I certainly hope there weren't even children watching. Uh, clearly, a woman with some issues. Uh, we'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. Not now, Grace. Just stop. Stop and talk to me. Fuck off. You walk out that door, and you're through. Do you get that?
two years ago, I hit rock bottom. My husband had just filed for divorce. My management dropped me and I had a very public meltdown. I couldn't see my kids and my friends wouldn't talk to me and who could blame them? I barely wanted to see myself. For two years, I just laid around hoping the ground would swallow me sooner rather than later. I'm not telling you all of this because I want to make you sad. Far from it. My goal here is to show you that no matter the circumstances, whatever has grabbed a hold of you, there's still hope. Nothing, absolutely nothing that exists in this world is insurmountable.